The World Economic Forum, WEF, annual meeting at Davos has long brought together the world's top politicians, business, academic, youth and civil society leaders to engage in addressing the most pressing issues on the global, regional and industry agendas. In celebration of India's Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav, 75 years of independence and the assumption of India's G20 presidency, Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade, DPIIT, has strengthened India's presence at this year's WEF in Davos for all global investors looking to make a home in India, one of the world's most liberal investment destinations. The objective is to showcase a consolidated India presence with the center and states while projecting India as a strong, resilient economy acting as a problem solver at the global stage. Robust structural reforms have strengthened India's macroeconomic stability and made the country an attractive global investment destination. The government of India has undertaken and multiple policy interventions over the last few years to fast-track grounding of foreign investments across sectors. As a result of these efforts, India witnessed the highest ever inflow of foreign direct investment worth $84 billion during 2021-22. This FDI came into 57 sectors from 101 countries and across 30 states and UTs. Real GDP growth across FY 21-22 was an unprecedented 8.7% and absolute GDP value in FY 21-22 reached $3.1 trillion and recent estimates point towards a $5 trillion economy by 2025. Despite global headwinds, India's aggregate demand conditions have remained stable, buoyed by simplified access to bank credit, as well as continued consumer and business confidence, lending credence to India's economic resilience. A high-level delegation from the Indian side, coupled with senior state government representation, will be present at WEF 2023 to strengthen India's position as an important stakeholder, shaping the global narrative. Over the course of five days, Invest India will be organizing several roundtables, panel discussions and fireside chats to deliberate on policy action and investment support in renewable energy, sustainability, infrastructure, healthcare and medical devices, startups, trade and logistics, technology, institutional investments and so on. Fourteen sessions would be held on agendas such as Building Unicorns 2.0, India's continued journey to be an entrepreneurial destination, Europe for the Indian Business Corridor, Catalyzing Investment, in sustainable infrastructure, life with Paramayar, CEO Niti Ayog, opportunities in R&D and innovation in life sciences, building resilience in the global electronic and semiconductor supply chain, fourth consultation of the IPAs of G20 and guest countries, enhancing India's startup ecosystem, technology, innovation and inclusion, India's growth story, riding the wave, act forward, where women's leadership stands today and where it is going, building India's digital economy, tech-powered governance, Swiss-India innovation collaboration, Swiss precision with Indian scale, future of fintech, gender-based governance and channeling investments to fuel a green India. Senior Indian ministers would be attending the WEF 2023 at Davos. Mr. Rashwini Vaishnav, Minister for Railways, Communications, Electronics and Information Technology. This is Smriti Irani, Minister of Women and Child Development and Minority Affairs. Mr. R. K. Singh, Power Minister and Mr. Mansukh Mandavia, the Health Minister, would be representing India. The Chief Ministers who would be attending the WEF meeting include Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath, Maharashtra Chief Minister Ekna Chinde and Karnataka Chief Minister Basavaraj S. Bommai. Top Indian entrepreneurs and business leaders Gautam Adani, Sanjeev Bajaj, Kumar Mangalam Birla, N. Chandrasekharan, Nadir Godrej, Ajit Gulabchand, Sajjan Jindal, Sunil Mittal, Roshni Nadar Malhotra, Nandan Nilekani, Adar Poonawala, Rishad Premji and Suman Sinha are likely to be present. This year marks 36 years of the forum's collaboration with India. Over the course of the forum meeting, Invest India has organized several roundtables, panel discussions, discussions and fireside chats to deliberate on policy action and investment support in renewable energy, sustainability, infrastructure, healthcare and medical devices, startups, trade and logistics, technology and institutional investments.